What's up guys, Sammy from Knuckleball Twins here. Today, we are testing out four different brands of football boots. We have Mazzino Morelia, New Balance Vizarro, CR7s from Nike, and the Adidas Predator LZ2. Can't go wrong with a classic. Let's see which boot is best for knuckleballs. We're only testing four brands today, but I thought we got a good mix at least for you guys to see what's best for knuckleballs. So testing out the Mazzino Morelia first. Let's go. Solid start from Mazzino. I absolutely love the Morelia boots. So comfortable, so lightweight, and just so good for knuckleballs. Can't complain. I think the only thing I would say is that near the upper of the boot, it feels quite loose. You can see this area here. I could do with that being a bit tighter on my foot, especially for the follow through where I drag my left foot on the ground. It feels a bit loose there, but other than that, no problems. The example said it all. I'm a bit gutted actually that the smart ball knuckleball wasn't on the app because that was a good dead ball and that would have been a good RPM rating. But never mind, check out the smart ball video if you haven't already. Let's move on to the Predator LZ. So now we're in the Predator LZ2s. I was a huge fan of the original Predator LZ. They were one of my favourite boots and actually scored my infamous Rule of Fate goal in the originals of them, the blackout colour. So bus give these a try. Haven't actually tried out the Predator LZ2s before. So let's see how we go. Straight away though, they feel nice and snug on my foot. So the comfortability factor looks like a tick already. That was a decent first attempt. Really good. That was legit my first three shots in the Predator boots, like <laughs> exactly the same technique, aim for the same part of the goal. It's mad though because these are such an old model of football boot. The Mazzino ones I had on before are literally like a couple of months old and these are years old. So that says it all. I don't think you always need to have the newest boot to necessarily perform the best. It's what suits you, got to be comfortable. So that was the Predator LZ2. Must say, a huge difference to the Mazzino. I think, obviously, the pad is completely different. So the upper on the Predator LZ definitely has more support. Onto the new Bats Bizarro now. Gonna Conzi style it. Those of you know free kickers, know what I mean? <laughs> How you steal a ball in 2020? I'll put it by the gate, I can't throw it over. And you just walk off of it. <laughs> now nah, bless her, she's doing a top job. She's gonna leave it by the gate for us. And we're good to go again. Happy days. It's fair to say I've forgotten how good the Vizarro boots are. They are insane. It's been years since I've worn these boots, but nonetheless, still an amazing boot. Top work, New Balance. Honestly, the first time we tried out the blue Vizarros at Liverpool, just had a good feeling about them since then, and they've created some insane colourways of these boots. Obviously, you've got these ones, these ones, loads more. 
just the up on the boot is so thin that it's so easy to strike the ball. Like get your foot under the ball, hit the ball cleanly. So they're great for knuckleballs. Great padding on the sweet spot. Yeah, can't complain. On to CR7s. Straight difference, obvious difference, is the sock. Only boots today with the sock. Definitely gives you that tight, snug feel around the ankle. Let's see how we get on with the CR7s. All finished now in the middle area. Moving over to my favorite side now. I love the knuckleball for kicks from that angle. Still in the CR7s. I love them, don't get me wrong, I do love these boots, but I feel like they're better on grass because the sole plate is quite, the studs are quite long. So when you're shooting on a 3G, there's not much give. I feel like I'm wasting time now in the CR7s, just not feeling it with them today. So I'm going to change these up, put the Vizaros back on and try a few free kicks on the left side still. It's weird, I just don't feel right. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's the contrast in the boots. Obviously having the sock, slightly longer studs. Maybe it's that today, maybe because I've tried other boots before these. It just feels a bit off, so I'm going to go back to the Vizaro. Oh my days! Whoa! Right, that's my first shot back in the Vizarro. Wow! After that goal, I'm just going to stay in the Vizarros now. I can't change my boots after that goal. Like, just feels so right at the minute. So there we go guys, the session here at Free Hills Sports Park in Folkestone has come to an end. I had such a quality time testing out these four different brands of boots today. I think based on today's session, the Vizaro have been my favourite. Really enjoyed using them, haven't done so in a while, so it was good to test them out again today. Comment down below if there's a particular boot you'd like us to test out, or maybe a brand we might have missed, because there are a few brands we've missed. We would love to give all of them a test out at some point, but based on time today, we decided to stick with four and give that a go. Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you very soon in a new video. Knuckle it.